Today our topic is Introduction to Distribution Network in Supply Chain Management in which we are going to discuss about distribution, channels of distribution, types of distribution channels, distribution network, factor influencing distribution network design and different design options for a distribution network. In a supply chain, a distribution network is an interconnected group of storage facilities and transportation system that receive inventories of goods and then deliver them to the customer. It is an intermediate point to get products from manufacturer to the end customer either directly or through a retail network. So basically, this is the distribution network in a supply chain management which takes the goods from the manufacturer to the end customer directly or through different intermediaries. So let's first define what is distribution. Distribution is a process of making a product or services available for consumer or business user who needs it. It is one of the four element uh, place of the marketing mix. So this can be done directly by producer or service provider or using indirect channels with distributors or intermediaries or middlemen. So distribution is basically uh, making a product or a service available to the consumer or end user when they need that. So and distribution is also one of the P one of the uh, element of uh, marketing mix so uh, and it can be do directly or indirectly uh, using the channel of distributions this is a picture of an a, a distribution uh, flow which from uh, supplier to warehouse then to retail and to then customer and then uh, another one is from uh, supplier to warehouse and then to retail and then to customers and uh, another one uh, direct from supplier to warehouse and then directly to the uh, customer so these are the some of the examples of a distribution network in a supply chain management in previous uh, slides we used the word uh, channels uh, so let's see what is the channel of distribution is a distribution channel is a chain of businesses are intermediaries through which a good or service passes until it reaches the final buyer or the end consumer or end user so and distribution channels can be can can include a wholesaler a reseller retailer distributor agent franchiser franchisee or internet so these are the channel of these are the some of the component of a channel of distribution uh, uh, distribution channels are a part of downstream process in a supply chain management like I previously uh, tell you that it starts from the manufacturer till the end customer so it is we can say or we, we are saying that this is channel of distribution or distribution process is basically a downstream process in a supply chain management here are few of the few of the channels of distributions are like manufacturer to direct consumer, manufacturer agent consumer, manufacturer retailer consumer, manufacturer wholesaler, reseller, retailer and consumer, manufacturer agent retailer consumer and then uh, manufacturer agent reseller retailer and uh, consumer and then manufacturer uh, franchiser franchisee and then consumer. So these are the different models of channels of distribution which uh, are used in a supply chain management uh, okay as we did, as we talk about bef talk before that uh, these are like channels could be like two main kinds uh, types of channels are like one is the direct channel and other is a indirect channel a direct channel is a uh, allows the consumer to make the purchase from the manufacturer so a direct or short channel may mean lower cost for consumer because they are buying directly from the manufacturer or more 
margin or better control of the for the manufacturer so it is like direct channel is between there is no no intermediary between uh, manufacturer and the uh, end consumer then the other other uh, type is an indirect channel uh, an indirect channel allows the consumer to buy the goods from wholesaler or retailer indirect channels are typically for goods that are sold in the traditional brick and mortar uh, stores generally if there are more intermediary involved in the distribution channel the price for a good may increase so this is opposite of the uh, direct channel where in direct channel there is no intermediary involved whereas in indirect and indirect channel there are many intermediary involved for this reason there is a chances that the price of the goods may go up because everyone has their margin and uh, and it is more it is kind of traditional uh, uh, channel of distribution where you know stores and the warehouses and you know are involved but as compared to uh, in the direct channels mostly it is like e-commerce or you know no it is like on internet people are placing order directly to the manufacturer and you, they are getting their product uh, to the to their doorsteps from this picture you can see uh, the difference between a direct distribution channel and an indirect uh, distribution channel which i already uh, explained to you okay then comes the, the distribution network uh, distribution as we know distribution is a process in which uh, a chain or a network of businesses or intermediary product, products or services passes through and make available for the consumer or the business user who needs that. In supply chain a distribution network is an interconnected groups of storage facilities, uh, transportation system that receive intermediary of goods and then deliver them to the uh, customers. So. In uh, it is an intermediate point to get the product from manufacturer to end customer either directly or through a retail network. A fast and reliable distribution network is essential in today's instant gratification society. Of the consumer so it in in this society you know to satisfy our customers we need a very a fast and uh, reliable distribution networks so we can win the confidence of our uh, customers and satisfied them so now uh, let's see what are the factor you know which are influencing when we are designing a distribution uh, network so distribution network performance evaluated along two dimension at the highest macro level customer need that are met that is customer satisfaction the first purpose is to uh, meet the requirements of a customer and satisfy them and the second one is the cost of meeting the customer's needs so efficiency so it is like two things we have to see while we are uh, designing a uh, distribution network number one is the customer satisfaction and number two is the efficiency of the system so we can and uh, ultimately we can satisfy uh, our customer with the less cost or optimal cost or eff efficient cost so distribution network designs options must uh, therefore be compared according to their impact on customer service and the cost to provide this level of service so and again it also depend on what it is the strategy of an organization or what are their mission or goal so they they want to be more cost leader or they want to be be more customer satisfactors so these are the things options we have and according to those we make a or we design a network in a supply chain manner. so what are the factors we consider to satisfy our customers in a developing a, in a network structure is the response time how quickly we can uh, satisfy our customer reach to the customer with the product variety of the products there should be variety, many different kind of products and then availability that and then customer experience how they will have a experience when they are buying our product and then order visibility and then returnability so these are the things we have to see when we are you know developing a, uh, a distribution network structure as uh, we have discussed that uh, 
the factors which are which should be included when we are designing a uh, distribution network uh, to satisfy customer same time our other side of the coin is efficiency so for that we have to manage our inventories our transportation facilities and their handling of uh, facilities and the product and then informations so these are the two side of the uh, distribution uh, network when we are developing one is the satisfaction of the customer and other is the efficiencies these are the few of the options we have available from where we can select and design a distribution network or we can make the hybrid of that so these are like uh, this this we are providing some of the options which are available then uh, the first one is the manufacturer storage with direct shipping then the manufacturer storage with the direct shipping and in transit merge uh, distributor storage with packaged carrier delivery distributor storage with last minute delivery i'm sorry last mile delivery then manufacturers and distributor storage with consumer pickup and the last one is the uh, retail storage with consumer pickup so let's see one by one uh, the first one is like manufacturer storage with direct shipping that's inventory staying with the manufacturer and we ship directly to the like we talk about the direct uh, shipping or direct channel uh, uh, in this option products is shipped directly from the manufacturer to the end consumer bypassing the retailers who takes the order and initiate the delivery request this option is also preferred to as the drop shipping and all the uh, uh, this ship this option is also referred as to be drop shipping because and drop shipping is an, another important uh, a process in the distribution that in the distribution in a supply chain management all inventories are stored at the manufacturer so and mostly no it is like a, a e-commerce or like a, a drug shipping is becoming the customers are placing order to the manufacturer and manufacturing is, is shipping direct to their customers okay the next one is the manufacturer storage with drug shipping and intransigent merge uh, so like you can see from the picture you know uh, the things are coming from the different uh, locations of supplier and then they are um, uh, consolidating in one place and then shipping to the customer according to their order unlike pure uh, drop shipping where each product uh, is uh, in the order is sent directly from each manufacturer to end customer intransigent merge merger combines pieces of uh, order com uh, coming from different locations so that uh, the customers get a single delivery and i have very perfect example we used to do we are you know in usa we are bringing some product from uh, uh, china and some product from india and then we are consolidated in uh, los angeles uh, usa and then shipping to different location uh, in uh, in us and canada so this and, and mexico so these were like uh, another way of uh, another channel of uh, distribution we from manufacturer and then you know direct shipping so this is another way of uh, reaching uh, uh, providing product to our end customer uh, the next one is the distributor storage with the package carrier delivery so you know here that you can see from the picture from factories uh, things are in, uh, stored in the distributor place and then from distributor place uh, we will deliver to the a uh, carrier delivery service uh, uh, under this option inventory is not held by manufacturer at factories but held at a distribution distributors or retailer uh, in a intermediate warehouses and package carriers are used to transport products from the intermediate location to the final uh, customers and you know every day we receive those packages at our home through a carrier service okay the next is distributor storage with last min last mile uh, delivery so it refers to a distributor retailer delivery the product to the customer's home instead of using a package carrier usually we use this in a you know in a heavy product or special product which we have to deliver direct to to the from our store from our store or distribution center to our customer and if you can see the pictures you know we can use the drone and we can use the a car or we can use a truck it depends what kind of products we have and this is called this called last mile delivery and it is another very important uh, topic in supply chain management 
okay the next is the manufacturer or distributor storage with consumer pickup so here we are that we keep the goods with the manufacturer or the distributor and instead of shipping to them consumer or the customer come to pick the goods so in this approach inventory is stored as the manufacturer or at the manufacturer or distributor warehouse but uh, customers place their order online or on phone and then come to designate pickup points to collect their order so uh, you know we place the order to the manufacturer or the distributor or the way and then uh, they will tell us to where to pick up the uh, pick up pick up the goods and they have the pickup sites so this is another way of um, uh, distributing the goods or reaching to our customer with our goods so the last uh, option we not last option but the another option we have uh, is that uh, uh we keep the goods at uh, retail places and then consumer and come and this is like a traditional way of uh, when we go in a retail retail store and we buy goods so what happens from manufacturer is come to distributor and then distributors come to retailer and then we go to pick you know and we do every day we go to the stores and buy goods so this is another way, another channel of distribution uh, manufacturer or the you know or the uh, service providers are using so in this option inventory is stored locally at retail store customer either walk into the retail store or place an order online on phone and pick it up at the retail store so traditionally you know we go and we pick the things it is already available so these are the few of the you know uh, distribution network which we have and we can pick from them or pick one of them or you know mix them according to the Uh, our product according to our customers uh, need or requirement and what kind of strategy we have in uh, overall in our organizations so distribution network is very very important in a supply chain management and in any business it can uh, you know make you or it can break you and uh, because through this you reach to your customers um, uh, efficiently and uh, effectively so you know this was just a uh, introduction to uh, distribution uh, channels or distribution network if you have any question please uh, feel free to ask me and i will be glad to answer any of your question thank you